And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube, for some War Mother Swain. Now, this is a lot like the War Mother Glinthorn. By a lot, I mean it's the same deck. We're going to be playing the War Mother Glinthorn that we have played a couple of times before. But we never really did anything with Glinthorn, and so we're going to be replacing Glinthorn with Minotaur Reckoner. And so then I can't really call it War Mother Glinthorn anymore if we're taking that card out of the deck. So we're going to call it War Mother Swain, because of course we have our three Leviathans. To go along with our three Swains, that's going to be a big part of our winning games is just the Leviathan-Swain combo um, of stunning all their stuff. Um, and, you know, we can find we can find that combo with the help of War Mother's Call. Now, Leviathan is a play trigger. See, we, if we put in Leviathan off of War Mother's Call, we do not um, draw a Swain. But it's still just awesome to have the 5-8 Overwhelm that has that round start ability. We're going to have a couple of minutes. Our Reckoner is in here also, just stunning the weakest enemy. Um, and then, of course, we'll have Anivia, Swain, that kind of stuff. So we're going to have our Hearth Guard, uh, be able to pump everything up. Um, ramping with Catalyst of Aeons for our early removal. we got Avalanche, Death Lotus, um, Ravenous Flock to pair with other things. Same with a Noxion Guillotine to pair with other things. Tavern Keeper and Sentry to help, us, to help keep us from dying and draw cards. And that's kind of the the rest of our deck. So we're gonna go play five games over in ranked with War Mother Swain, and hopefully Leviathan and Swain can pull out some wins for us. Um, not sure if I could only pick one deck to climb to Masters, which one would it be? It'd probably be a deck similar to what we were just playing. It'd probably be a, a Twisted Fate Starlet Seer deck. Um, I like a lot of the the Freljord and, and Bilgewater cards. They're just, just what I enjoy playing the most. It's all the card advantage. Like It'd probably be like, NAB, like the NAB package. Maybe have a Resin Sentry get, getting in there. Um, yeah, let's keep the rest of this. Calling Strike, good removal against both these champions. Sentry, a good blocker. It's also nice to have Sentry in hand because that means that we're not going to be hitting Sentry off War Mother's Call, <laughs> right? Like, we don't want to do that. I'm just going to ramp. Next turn, we'll play some sentries. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Dangerous waters. <laughs> All right, gonna kill misfortune. Hell of a day. Always forward. And play a sentry to be able to block their 2 2. Definitely want to draw War Mother's Call. Want to find that card. Discipline and steal! Okay, our Harsh Winds is good against Fort Amasia. They're dropping Quinn at next turn. Which is, you know, kind of likely. They're champion. They're dropping Quinn. I got the Culling Strike for it. Okay, no Quinn. I didn't keep up harsh winds for yeah darn I should have kept up harsh winds instead of playing reckoner maybe reckoner can take down warships bless is Mosha So I'm going down to four. 
Oops. Four's not dead. Zero out of twelve. I'm getting warmed up. Loyalty to conquest. Well, we're not quite there yet. Almost leveled up. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got zero. So pretty close. I could flock the 1 2, and then Reckoner will stun something else. Patience. I guess then it would stun the 2 4, which that'd be pretty good to stun that thing. After the battle, the well, the thing is, is like, the point, you know, if this thing was a 6-6 six, six still, like, it was, it wasn't great for me that we had to, um, like, that wasn't great for me that we had to block a 5-6 with Reckoner, but the point is, you know, like, even though it stuns the smallest thing, we have, we pair it with things like Avalanche that can kill a bunch of, you know, like, we can kill a bunch of small things, and so that, then they're left with Big Thing, and then it stuns Big Thing. But still, it's better than, you know, like, Glinthorn would be. You gotta give me that. It would. It is better than what Aura Glinthorn would be. Oh, really? The very first card was Enraged Yeti? Really? Come on. Where are we at? Four? I need one more mana. Alright, so playing that playing that Reckoner when I did, that was a big mistake. Playing the Reckoner cost me that game. If I just play war if I play Harsh Winds instead of Reckoner, that would have saved me a lot of life. And then I then just play Reckoner the next turn, and then it's a 6-6. Six, six. And then I get to Avalanche. because uh, it's a 6-6 six, six and stays alive and I have a lot higher life total. That was Winnable. So Catalyst of Aeons is our most important card to, to pair with War Mother's Call. Sentry's good, but I... Sentry's about the only card that I'm keeping here. Ravenous Flock is horrible. Nevia's horrible. We need... We need Catalyst Bayons. No. Can 
see the Nebastian border from here. A chill in the air. I don't know if this death sand's really gonna do a whole lot for me. Oh, that may end up being bad play. Well, we got another one anyway. Me catalyst. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, probably not. You're right. We want to get to War Mother's Call as fast as possible before they do tons of stuff with Ash. Uh, I guess we're doing this. Hey, what's up, Dan? Yeah, the, the four Demacia buff definitely hurt us. Hmm. Where are you at? You're at nine. Okay, so you're just going to be leveled up. Yeah, of course. Shigami, yeah, so you, yeah, you're struggling at Platinum with they who endure. You just went on a massive 23 and 4 win streak. That is great. Yeah, great job there. 23 and 4. That is awesome. The War Mother will unite us all. See, I told you to st st stick with it. You're gonna, you were about to turn the corner and do really well. That's awesome. I'm really glad to hear. Uh, I don't... I don't remember Repost ever giving plus four. If so, that was in the closed beta. I've played ever since it's been open beta. And it's always been plus three. I will unite the Frail Yord. My arrow won't miss. Man, not a single Catalyst of Aeons. It's kind of rough. Two two with the donation deck, Misfortune and Tarkaz. Cool. Okay, so you want third slot any day? I'll probably do that Monday with Tarkaz. Probably put that for meme tier Monday. We can play War Mother's Call next turn. Above all. Yeah, we're basically... Um, yeah, I guess we're basically a Nivea Swing Control. We're a War Mother's Call deck.
Perfect, okay. That's fine. I cannot play Tavern Keeper this turn, because if I play Tavern Keeper, I only have two mana. Next turn, I have to have three extra mana to be able to cast War Mother's Call. So, do not want that. Snow, wind, and ice. I just don't think I attack. So basically the reason why I don't want to attack, I know we would kill Icefell Archer, put one damage on that Ash, where if they you know block with the Nivea, maybe it kills it or a Ravenous Flock. No, Reckoner, I would like to put you into play off of the War Mother's Call. The reason why I don't want to do that is because I'm scared this turn I was scared of Um hmm. So that's just gonna kill something. I was very scared of harrowing. I was scared of like harrowing and they put it in a good amount of ashes that have died. I was scared of that. I will endure. Yeah, faints here in chat sometimes, yeah. Yeah, faint, faints a, view, a viewer here in chat. Yeah, our, our deck's playing all three Avalanche. So at this point, with, with double Harsh Winds now, I don't have to be as scared of Harrowing bringing a whole bunch of Ashes in play, because, you know, like, we have these Harsh Winds that we'll be able to uh, help out. One of the Harsh Winds is an Anivia Champion spell, so if something happens to this Anivia, it will turn back into Anivia. We have two more Leviathans in here and three, or sorry, three more Leviathans and two more Swains. So yeah, Hearthguard is summon trigger, so it, it got, so by bringing that in, it got to pump up. Um, so now, as you can see, we have two Hearthguards now for the rest of our units. They've had two Ash die, as far as bringing them back. No, I don't want to draw Leviathan. I mean, I guess... I guess it will draw me Swain. I would rather play Minotaur Reckoner right here. That's definitely their plan. So I'm not, I'm again not playing Tavern Keeper so I can have both these Harsh Winds available. Here in your time of need. Their plan is definitely harrowing. Three ashes. No challenge. My aim is true. Cause I can't block with anything. The chill before the storm.
So that's the brand new, that's the Anivia that I just shuffled into the deck from casting the Harsh Winds. That's why it's only a 3-5 and not a 5-7. Hoping Leviathan finishes this game. I didn't want to play Leviathan pre combat and they go Ruination. Still put them down to two. Yeah. Should finish this out. GG's. Yeah, now our catalysts show up. The only card I wanted earlier in the game. And now it's showing up when we don't need it anymore. Alright. Played that one pretty well against Harrowing. Frostbite stuff. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep War Mother's Call still. I don't know. I do like this Death Lotus, especially if they have five ones. Catalyst of Aeons, Avalanche. Those are our cards. We do not want to see Trapper from them because we don't want one mana of five fives. So we don't want. Basically, the main reason to play this would be to keep them from Sejuani leveling up, but no. Nah. Cool. The War Mother will unite us all. They're being pretty patient. I think they need to keep the Sejuani from leveling up. and hearth guard is so great wish i'd have rose and hearth garden Yeah, every every deck gets hurt by Ash Sejuani and all the frostbite every deck does. Y'all know I, I don't believe anything's favorite against this deck. Fight. 
I'm not sure what they have in their hand over there. Winter, take you. So if they were going to do this, yes, yeah, so they're doing the co the culling strike combo. I, I would rather them do that combo against that card than against Leviathan. So I was thinking there. Definitely considering just passing. Yeah, I guess am I like am I supposed to just keep War Mother's Call in the opening hand? You think I am supposed to keep it in the opener? I I did the previous game and I had it. You know, this game I didn't and I don't have it. Maybe I am supposed to just keep War Mother's Call. It's it feels really yeah, weird to keep a twelve mana card in the opening hand. But yeah, maybe I so maybe I'm supposed to. This yeah, it it helped call. me win the last game for sure. So from now on, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it in the opener. This was kind of a weird game of my opponent being, you know, having a very slow hand. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. This was different in that respect. Nothing escapes my watch. I'm planning on playing Harsh Winds this turn. I'm not going to play the Anivia's Harsh Winds. Oh, they passed? Cool. Alright, I'll go to my turn. You don't want to attack? That's fine with me. Let's just keep playing. What if they have Harsh Winds, then Reckoning? I guess I'd rather them do that to Swain. I guess they don't even need to have Harsh Winds and Reckoning. Swain, Swain's only four power. They can just have Reckoning. And even just like Flash Freeze Reckoning. So they're going to go Harsh Winds Reckoning. So I will... I have 8 mana? I need 9 mana. I'll be responding with my own Harsh Winds if they go Reckoning. Well, that's probably not going to be a Reckoning. Why would you play a 3-3 before Reckoning? That's weird. The chill before the storm. If I had one more mana, I could have attacked with the Anivia first and death, been able to Death's Hand this thing so that the Reckoning wouldn't have even happened. I feel like your opponent was not ready to reckon. Uh, Leviathan's better, but I also want to play Hearthguard first so that Swain is 5 power. And so we draw 5 power Swain. Conquest for Empire. 
and also playing hearth guard means that i would be able to have harsh winds and stuff like that available from the savage cold. well that hurts looks like i should have played hearth guard eight nine sejuani darn now they're gonna kill this leviathan should have just done it If I block here, if I block here, I can have, you know, Nivea attack basically kill all their stuff, or like kill kill both of those. So I guess I guess yeah, we we just block here. draw cattle surveillance anymore. Oh, come on. Why are you a card? Still have six mana. No, no, because, no, you do not want to reduce the number of catalysts. I know the, the deck's built on the late game, and so drawing them in the late game is not great. I understand that. But it's literally the only card you want in the early game. It's the most important card to draw. It's what you'd mulligan your whole hand looking for it, so no, you don't want to reduce... So yeah, so I think so the main thing that we learned with this game was that I should not mulligan War Brothers Call. Nine Leviathan, or sorry, eight nine Sejuani to kill my Leviathan. Man, that was that was also a killer. Not playing the Hearth Guard <sighs> previously. This is our homeland. I protect this place.
A teak tree! 13 awesome months. Thank you so much, teak tree. That is our fourth sub of the day. Okay. Let's see. Could just kill those three things. Not the perfect guillotine. But it is a very good guillotine. One extra mana would have been pretty nice. I bring the storm. If I attack with the Nivea, then they're free to play their hand out. Therefore, I think I pass. Not let them play their hand out. This is my best play against Reckoning. My best play against non-Reckoning, like non-way to kill Anivia, is blocking the other way. I protect this place. I'm not going to do the best play against nice. Reckoning. I'm going to just do... Another Anivia would really like another Anivia. See the Nebastian border from here. It's not bad. It's basically another Anivia. Where is War Mother's Call? Where are you? 
All right, y'all. We need we need some luck. I think War Mother's Call on top. War Mother's Call. Needs to be our top card. Not quite. Friends. There's no such thing. <laughs> uh. Oh, the heck of a turn. Uh. Alright, so keep War Mother's Call in the opener. Do not mulligan it. Even though it's a 12 mana card, just keep it. Don't mulligan. Yeah, they had a draw four earlier. We almost almost got through that. But didn't you know didn't quite, but almost. I think if we would have had a War Mother's Call for one of those turns. Could have, but obviously the the Leviathan turn that I that I made really hurt us. Okay, we're not mulliganing. Cooling Strike would be the only card that I'd be thinking about keeping there. But we're not going to mulligan at War Mother's Call. We're just going to look for Catalyst into a call. Hello. Yeah, they, they won't do that in Ladder, Amuni. Um, Amuni says, like, wonder if, like, in, in Ladder, if you could just, like, ban one region that you don't want to play against. No, I don't think that... That could be, like, a, a gauntlet thing of... kind of thing, but I, I don't think they would do that in Ladder. I was going to play the Sentry first. We want to try to draw Catalyst. We're not doing good drawing Catalyst. If they have Petty Officer, we will Avalanche. This land is ours. Um, there. I'll just play Sentry I'll against spot. that thing. Already taking damage this turn. It's not like we're saving the level up for those this turn. This is what happens when I keep War Mother's Call. We get no ramp and just more War Mother's Calls. <laughs> Two out of five. Would like to keep that number down if at all possible. Our strength is yours. Catalyst can show up anytime. We'll be happy. Or not, doesn't have to. 
something ancient. Can wait till we already have 10 mana. And uh, we're trying to stabilize the stuff. Then we'll start drawing our Catalyst of Aeons. So it happened last game. <laughs> you played in the lab where your opponent dropped two War, war Mothers on turn one? <laughs> Fastest I've ever conceded. You pay, I fight. They stole my Minotaur Reckoner? Come on. We'll have to flock you should stay the Reckoner. Cowards. Another value of coin. Stand and defend. That gets him to three. Now this next turn we need to make sure we we keep three spell mana banked because it's turn nine is the you know nine is whenever we can play War Mother's Call with nine plus three. Uh, so this turn we're gonna have eight mana. Definitely be Riptide Rex. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. I'm just gonna pass. See if they pass also. Oh, I should have just harsh winds and they can't block swing. Easy, tiger. No, I shouldn't. I should save harsh winds, right? And plus, we need to save the mana anyway. Because good chance I need to harsh winds this turn. See, if I let this happen, that's six damage coming at us. Man, it's so tempting just to let it happen. All right, I'll pass. We'll, we'll see. We'll get some more information. Because if I harsh winds this turn, then that's all I'm doing. I do nothing else. I think we go War Mother's Call. I think we let them have this. Fight for your lives. So we'll find some Leviathans. We'll replay New Swain. It's bigger.
And we'll have double harsh winds next turn for whenever they're attacking. Yeah, War Mother's Call is too powerful. Whoops. Hmm. Well, I guess we can't play both of these. And y'all know how much I would love to play Hearthguard, but... No, we have, to, we have to say, I want to save mana next turn to have double harsh winds, basically. That's what I, I want to have at least two mana for double harsh winds, which I guess, you know, could be another War Mothers. I guess next turn I'm going to have to go Avalanche Harsh Winds. Loyalty through conquest. Anything for the right coin. So I guess I'm going to have to kill Powder Keg with Avalanche. Why attack? I mean, we're going to have to win the game eventually. We're going to have to attack. They can't have warning shots for every turn, right? And I also need to... I mean, we had three things die, as you can see. I only have room for two more. So we also kind of have to clear off room for War Mother's Call also each turn. We can't just sit back, because then our things will get burned. So the attack was definitely the right play. Obviously, my, all my stuff's going to get frostbitten from the power, powerful explosion. Let's have to do that to stay alive. We need Leviathan. We have three Leviathans in here. Come on, War Mother's Call. Find us Leviathan. Oh, I played the Anivia Harsh Winds. I don't think I really paid attention to that. Darn it. The reason why I'm saying darn it is because that means that I could just draw Anivia or War Mothers may put in that Anivia, and I would much rather be putting in Leviathan. Oh, stop, Catalyst. <laughs> Two games in a row. Two games in a row of getting to the late game, and now we draw, now we draw our Catalyst. Oh, they ons. Uh...
Yeah, I know it has heals. I really need a Leviathan by now. Right, that's that's got to be game, right? These each do two. Oh, I guess I need to. Do I need to play this? Uh, Yordle Grifter is great. At least they don't have room for Powder Keg now. That's good. Tavern Keeper. Man, we are pretty unlucky. You died. Got 15 cards left. We've still seen zero Leviathans. Stand and fight. Off with you. The warning shot was just unnecessary. So we know that we're at least at, like, basically we're at two life. If they have anything that does two damage, we lose. Yeah, I could have gone for the calling strike, but it's just too risky. Like, one warning, like, I think I have to gain the three life, because if they just have one extra warning shot in here, I lose. Oh. Oh, they stole my Leviathan. That must be great. Order, sir. Bring that, that must be great. We're not getting much luck today. We are not getting much luck today. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, I said I mean Sejuani's the best card in the game. And yeah, it's been it's been destroying us over and over. Oh, did I just play against you, Caleb? Oh, GG's. This one could be over before it starts.
This is really unfortunate, but we just have to play another Tavern Keeper, I think. That makes my turn pretty poor. My next turn pretty poor. It's like if I would have played Catalyst last turn, then I would be able to play a Nivea this turn. Okay. So, we are two turns away from War Mother's Call. We can play, you know, Reckoner or Anivia here. Oh, or Avalanche. Okay, so now I'm, I'm farther away from War Mother's Call with this Avalanche. Probably go Anivia, because Anivia can attack and kill the 3 1. And it is a good blocker. We shall their treasonous us. Or I. Yeah, no, I should probably just play this. Avalanche after Anivia? I didn't want Anivia to take the Avalanche damage. We're a little ways away from Anivia being reborn. But I guess it could have maybe killed more things. I'm glad I didn't. Like, if I would have played Anivia first, they play Callista. That would have been problems for me, right? Because Callista would have leveled up with the Avalanche. So we have eight mana next turn. I have to only spend five if I want to War Mother's Call the, the turn after, which obviously Everyone's a um, Okay, so Callista's just gonna be leveling up. So we just attack here, it levels up, we'll have Flock. Or Callista. Uh, which, let's see, if I play Ravenous Flock on that thing... Means I'm not playing Leviathan. You own what you take. So we're playing Reckoner. Keep on spending all my mana, so I'm not saving any for War Mother's Call. I could just not play Reckoner and then War Mother's Call next turn, but it's probably better to. Probably better to play Reckoner and then, like, Leviathan next turn. This is our time! My deck's like, huh, you needed you needed Leviathan, didn't you? Well here you go. If I play a Nivea and attack with a Nivea, we get to kill that thing. Darn. Which would be good. Uh, four minutes, our reckoner. Oh. Ouch.
Indecision is the first of many. No, all right, I'm dead. So, the point of our deck is to ramp into War Mother's Call and have War Mother's Call put all the units into play. The point of the deck is not to just draw all of your units. That is not the point of your deck, because then that, that just defeats the purpose of the deck. So we were we were pretty close in like all those games like we were we were really close but we were just yeah we just did something to anger the RNG gods yeah something because it was either draw all of the units like all your leviathans not find a single leviathan in in you know in the first seventy five percent of your deck um you know twice we. Uh, you know, draw. You know, start drawing catalyst. Like as soon as we get ten mana, then we start drawing our catalyst of aeons. And draw multiple of them right away, right after getting ten mana. That happened two two different games. <laughs> when all you want is this card early. Um, another one. You know, we mulliganed War Mother's Call because we thought that you know it's just a twelve mana card, so I mulliganed it, and then. Uh, never saw it again, and that was like the only card we needed, so I got really punished for mulliganing the War Mother's Call. It's a card that I needed forever. And so the very next game, we keep War Mother's Call in our opener, and either turn one or turn two, one of those two, we just draw our second War Mother's Call. And it's just like, here you go, here's another one. Lots of really poor RNG. <laughs> like, just lots of worst-case scenarios, kind of every game. But we were in them. The, the deck felt felt just fine. We were in the games, but it's just, you know, besides that, like, if we just had any kind of better RNG in a lot of those games, like, they could have been the other way. But that's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. All right, that's War Mother Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.